Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of the new save file. We are jumping in again and this time I'm going to try and do a greedier mode as someone. Who have we not done greedy? I can't believe we've done greedier as this guy. Uh, to be fair, we could try and do beast as tainted lost. That's always fun. Um, yeah, let's let's do a tainted lost run. I'm not really like, I don't know, I'm... I'm I'm in a I'm in a sort of situation where I'm like I'm not feeling super confident, but I actually just like this character so much that I think not feeling super confident is kind of fine. Um because basically with this dude, all you gotta do is get yourself on a good run, and then the rest takes care of itself, or at least somewhat. You still have to play somewhat well, but I think I can handle it. I think I can handle it. Now, little fire boys, not the best. Ooh, we get a luck penny straight away. Wow. Very, very nice. Oh my lord, okay. That is a that is a pretty decent start. I obviously know that with this character you don't really need a lot of luck because you're going to get um, perfection at some point. But um, still, extra luck early on could, could be quite nice. It could be quite good. Uh, don't, I gotta say, don't poo out some kids, please. Nobody likes your kids. And we'll try and get you before you move. Oh, you bastard. Okay. Go and get our item room. I'll come back and I'll probably take that pill, because why the why the hell not? But we do love a bit of tainted losting. We really do. We do love a bit of tainted losting. Let's see how we go. As for the question of the day today, as for the question of the day today. Um Hmm. I don't I don't know if I have a good one at the moment. What what, what we got here with these two? Um, I mean both of those are pretty meh. Nancy Bombs is kind of good, though. It can go pretty well with some bomb synergies. Ooh, a health up as well. Beautiful. A health up as well. Yeah, I don't know if I have a great question of the day today, I'll be honest. Um, oh, god damn it! I tried to open the secret room, and of course, of course it had to be fucking bob -ombs. Bobby Bombs, whatever they're called. I don't know why I'm doing this extra room, to be honest. I don't really need to. I'm going to make some, some desserts today, I think. That's my question of the day. What's your favorite dessert? What's your go-to? What's your go-to, like, if you order at a restaurant? What's your go-to? Um, I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna make some desserts today. Because I, um, as I said in the last episode, I got engaged last week. But my girlfriend, unfortunately, directly as we got home, had to take another flight out to India for some work. Um, so I'm on my own for the week now. Um, right. There you go. Uh, I'm on my own for the week now, really, come on now, um, and I'm just kind of like, I just, I like cooking and baking, so I think while I've got the week to myself, I'm going to do some cooking, and I'm going to do some baking. Nice, that was a good bomb. Honestly, Nancy bombs are just, just so good. They're obviously a little bit random, they're not always the best, but they're, they're, they're pretty darn useful. Um... The sun is actually pretty nice here, and our big old ears. Gotta love our big old ears. Honestly, not the best tainted loss start that we could hope for, but not completely awful either. I could gamble on that, to be honest. Nah, nothing in there we need. I could gamble on that. Oh, you're reviving, are you? Don't think so, Budski. Uh, divorce papers, pretty goddamn good. I shall take for the extra fire rate bonus. Fire rate is looking decent right now. Stats aren't all that bad, to be honest, in general. Yeah, this guy's a really annoying boss, because he can just fill the entire room with fire. And he summons minions and stuff. Like, he could be an absolute pain in the ass for Tinted Lost. I mean, he's not overly difficult, but I'm not a fan. I should take this just in case we get the missing poster and revive as the Lost. It's unlikely, but... You never know. Come on. There you go. We're good, we're good. We got that guy. And then... Oh, okay. I didn't realize he'd be taking fire damage from that. That's kind of nice. Unexpected, but very lovely. Unexpected, but very lovely indeed. Um, But yeah, I just... I feel like after going to Venice, I'm just inspired. <laughs> I brought back quite a lot of meat with me from Venice. Um, Like... There's a, I don't know if this is actually like something that is in a lot of other countries, but there's a a, a brand of like stores called um, Spa. Um, and in, in the UK, spas are generally, um, 
generally like garage shops like if you if you go to a gas station or a garage you get a spa or they're normally like little corner shops they're not really that big but in venice they had like full-sized ones and um they had uh this is actually a pretty decent item tower of babel i don't mind it at all um and yeah one of the things they they had that was was just like an abundance of amazing meats um and the uk is just honestly it actually really annoyed me <laughs> it genuinely really annoyed me went to like a random supermarket and it had like so many amazing different cheeses and meats and things like that and it's like in the uk it's like we just we just don't have anything like that it's like the 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 it sounds really snobby, but the palette of, of the general concept, like, the ge really, that hit me, for God's sake. Um, the general palette of the people in the UK is just so fucking basic. We're all such, I say we're all, hopefully I'm not, but everyone's just like, for fuck's sake, <laughs> can't we be a bit more sophisticated and eat some proper food? Okay, well, that was a, that was a good start. I can't believe I lost my holy mantle to, uh, to my own bomb there. Um... But it's like, can't we just be a bit more sophisticated and eat some real fucking food rather than chicken nuggets and shit? Like, oh my god. It just upsets me. The, like, it's it's literally like, I think the way that I compared it, because I, I was talking to my girlfriend about it. I say my girlfriend, my fiance, about it while we were in Venice. Um, and um, yeah, I was kind of saying how like, it's, it's as if, so the UK, it's like such an amalgamation of so many different cuisines and so many different countries' food that we don't do any of it well. Like, I wouldn't say that the food in the UK is bad. You can find good food in the UK. But like, you go to you go to Italy and you get not much variety. You get a lot of just Italian food, but it's done extremely well. You go to Greece and you just get like not not really anything other than Greek food, but it's done extremely well. And it's like a lot of countries are like that, whereas the UK and, and America as well is such just an amalgamation of a bunch of different countries' cuisines that we don't really do any of it very well. Um, and yeah, it, it leads to these situations, like I was saying, where we go to our supermarkets and, and shops and stuff, and we just we don't have anywhere near the amount of choice or like like not it's not even about, about variety, just the quality. Like I, I one of my favorite meals to make is um, carbonara. But traditional carbonara uses um, uses quinchale, which is a type of pork. Um, it's, it's kind of like a, a different cut of bacon. Um, it's an incredibly fatty cut of bacon. And I've literally never seen it once in the UK. Never seen it once. Maybe if you go to a proper butcher's, but we don't have a lot of those where I live. So you, you probably can get it, but I've, I've never seen it. And literally in a random supermarket, I found some. Uh, so I, 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 I bought like two packs and brought it home. And it's just like, ah, it annoys me so much. Why the UK gotta be full of such basic people with such basic tastes? <laughs> it's annoying. Good to have a bit of, uh, bit of piercing here. It's definitely helpful. Definitely helpful. I think piercing when you have, um, spectral is, is really, really nice as well. It just feels like you've got tears that can do a bit of everything. It's really, really nice. I'm not going to take that because that trinket does annoy the hell out of me. We do have a key now as well for this. Camo undies. Pretty good stuff. Yeah, camo undies is going to be pretty amazing for us here. Beautiful stuff. We've actually got a pretty good setup here, I'd say. Pretty good setup indeed. All right. If we get another penny and another key, we'll uh, go check that out. But yeah, being able to arrange ourselves in a room. Ooh, amazing trinket. Being able to arrange ourselves in a room. Um, so so that we're like least likely to take damage and can deal maximum damage. It's going to be very, very good for us. Well, we certainly got a lot of money now. We just need the keys to make this work. Come on, keys. Present yourself to me. Wow, okay. I wasn't expecting uh, all of these fellas to jump aboard. I was just about to say, why don't they get slowed down by the spider webs? And I'm like, mm, it's probably because they're spiders. Oh my god, you little fucker. 
Why wouldn't he die? Oh my lord, I'm so annoyed right now. Fucking spiders, man. Cosmic gives us a key. You better, you better, you better have it. You better have a, a, a goddamn thingy in there. Damn you. Although, keep a sack intriguing. Oh wait, this isn't the item I thought it was at all. Okay. This isn't the item I thought it was, but it could be a very good item later down the line. We'll see. Right, crack that open. I'm annoyed because now I'm in, I'm in imminent danger, but I'm on a really, really good run here. God damn it. Good old screw. And we've got Guppy's tail, or I think, I, I don't know what that is. That's the worm. Probably go with this. And it's not what I thought it was. It's Enraged Soul. Okay. Enraged Soul isn't great. Enraged Soul isn't great. I'll accept it, but it's not the best. Yeah, Auction Gavel. I, I thought it was the other, um, the other one. I didn't realize it was Auction Gavel. This game makes me want to kill myself. I can't believe... I lost my goddamn card to that stupid spider. He should have been dead, man. He should have been dead. That's way too much HP. And then that I, I, I died to that bullshit. Are you kidding me? I died to that bullshit. To some stupid little poop enemy fleeing out of a poop that I was stood on top of. I didn't even think about it. Didn't even think about it. It's just too many poops, goddammit. Right. I'm going to need a, a similar quality run here, so Gorgon's actually not bad to start. I don't mind him. I'm also intrigued by the prospect of, uh, of an early left hand. I'm intrigued by a prospect of an early left hand. This could be this could be something interesting. But I'm, I'm missing my piercing. That piercing was so nice to have. And now, it's been taken away from me. Okay, just, just keep our distance. You almost did it, didn't you? You shitbag. Right. Boss time. Really? I have to deal with you again? Luckily, Gorgon will periodically freeze this guy, which makes things a little easier. Also, my body's so itchy. To be fair, I got Mosquito bit to fuck while I was in Venice, so... Um, it makes sense why I'm itching. Okay, this guy isn't too bad with the freezing. And I'm able to, like, actually kind of keep him under wraps a little bit. The freezing is pe very periodical, so that was that was rather nice. I mean, luckily we have good damage to start as this guy, so most bosses aren't too too tricky. And we get ourselves toothpicks, which I'll most certainly take. Thank you. And we've got this card, the occult card, which I think could be really good. If we get a bad item in our shop or whatever, I think it could be fun. But yeah, this is this is kind of why I was saying I wanted to play as this character, because we're not in the best way for him. But it's 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 fun nonetheless. It's fun nonetheless. Okay, don't really like whatever went on with those guys. Okay, nice. Being able to freeze this guy is immense. Ah. Oh. Freeze him again. Nice. Right, item room, we're out thou. Oh dude, we're just freezing the best enemies now. Like, as soon as the enemy's about to do their titular attack, it's like, nope, they're frozen now. Temperance, I don't even know why I used that. It was probably a bad idea. I could have ended up killing myself by accident with that. Oh man, I got that guy mid-jump. This is amazing. Gorgon, you are the best when you have good damage. That was close. That was close. And here we've got the clicker. The clicker's kind of good. But, I'm going to hold off, because if we get a bunch of money, we can do some re-rolling. I think the re-rolling might be better, because although the clicker is nice, the mouse point or whatever you want to call it, although it is nice, I think there is better options. Um, but we'd need, we'd need enough money to make a re-roll worthwhile. We'd need more than enough to make it worth. I, I, like, I'd need at least 10 cent, really, to start re-rolling. And have a chance of getting something decent. Okay. I do have air bomb to be fair, so I could bomb it, but I don't think that's a great idea. Alright, let's keep going. 
keep it moving. Hope we can get some beautiful stuff going here. See, now this is the sort of shit that we're wanting. There you go. Up to enough to make it worthwhile, I think. Let's do some re-rolling and see what, see, see what bountiful stuff we can garner. Dead weight is goddamn terrible. I hate it. I'm just going to destroy these to get them out of the way. That is not good. Eh, it's not bad, actually, but it's not ideal. That's pretty terrible. Oh, my god. Okay, so I guess we're doing this now. <laughs> it's not, not how I was planning that to go, but there you go. It's, what's done is done. But trail's not actually that bad, to be honest. It's a lot better than it used to be. I like the fact that we changed it. Oh, his animation played incorrectly there. That's kind of scared me. Gorgon, you just keep doing your thing. Keep freezing our boy. That's very nice. Quite a bit of extra damage there for later on. And then here, Firecracker Flower is better, but it's still just not a good item in my opinion. It can be really good on late game bosses, but like the beast, if we get there, it'll be pretty useful for, but otherwise it's not going to be amazing. Well, this is intriguing. Like, we could just leave the flowers to, like, blossom there. We see how long they take. I sat there for, like, a year and a day waiting for them to explode. It's it's not worth it. You're still alive? God damn it. The good thing is it does proc pretty often. You get a lot, a lot of them. Oh, God. I kind of didn't expect you to shoot over there, my guy. They might, they might have been slightly changed because it seems like that one exploded pretty quick. It's not ideal. Um, Hangman. Right, Hangman now, while we can get as much out of it as possible. This is a good room for it, to be honest. A good room for it indeed. As much as I can get out of this. I can get luck pennies out of it too. I didn't even know that. Good, good. Trying to take full advantage of this. Golden troll bomb there. Ah, we've, we've run out of it now. Good, good. Okay, didn't have to deal with that at all. We've got plenty of money to play around with now. Um, is that Akeldama? Akeldama's not good, but it's it's fine. It's fine is what it is. And it does... We do have the Akeldama Synergy mod, so... We can get um, tier effects to affect our Akeldamas. You can see that we got a few seeds in there. Chilling. Right, almost done. There's something weird going on with the fire flowers on these guys. Right. Back we go. We've got this reverse strength as well to make the boss a little easier. I don't know if I'm going to use it on this floor boss or if I'm going to save it a little bit. I'm not entirely certain yet. Toy drum. Always nice. I think I'll actually buy the key as well, to be honest. Toy drum. Pretty decent shop item. So again, one of those shop items that I don't really think, think fits into the shop pool, but... Okay. Um... Got hit there. I didn't actually see the tier that hit me, but I, I, I guarantee it was just me being stupid. I guarantee that was probably pretty easy to avoid, and I just made a, a stupid mistake. This might be a bit of a short episode, my guys. This might be a bit of a shorter episode, but hey her. Tis the way the cookie crumbles. Guppy's tail plus um, the left hand is actually a really good combination. Lots and lots of red chests. Unfortunately, the red chests right now have been fucking awful. I am going to use this, to be fair. Wow, we got him in half already. Red fire, don't you, don't you fucking, don't you try it? Got this. Oh, this is tricky though. I actually really would rather have the left hand, I think. But perfection's so good. <laughs> I think I'm have to take perfection. But I'd love to be able to take both because that would that would be a nice combo. But 
Unfortunately, it cannot be. Yeah, I feel like this run's really not, really not hitting right now. There's, 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 a, there's a ways to go before this run does what I want it to do. We'll see if we get there. We'll see if we get there. Gotta love a soul heart that we can't do anything with. Thank you. Lots of chests to go along with it as well. Nice, nice. Right, item room, uh, item room. I speak to thee. Please give me what I need. Staplers, pretty good. <laughs> it's not exactly what I was asking for, but it's pretty good. Crabby? Oh, haha, -ha, I know exactly where you are. Thank you, Firecracker Flower. Oh, baby! Unexpected, but beautiful. Unexpected but beautiful. Also, Firecracker Flower might actually be pretty good against this guy. We'll see. Wow, okay. That's that, that's, that's, that's gone. I actually think this guy might kill me. What, why? Can we, can we, can we just find out why the Firecracker Flower just did literally fucking nothing then? Um... Yeah, okay. Well, this was a fun episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. <laughs> Obviously, I am not in the Isaac mood today, clearly. Either way, I hope you guys enjoyed nonetheless, and I'll see you guys in the next one.